All right, so let's get this craft fur shrimp done here. You might have noticed, but this is also a uh, cheaper version of the Danish pattern called Pedigreesen, uh, which is probably the best sea trout fly out there. Uh, this is the cheaper version because I will be using some craft fur instead of the original spay feather, uh, which is impossible to get at this point in time. Maybe they will return, but as of now it's not looking like it, so I've been experimenting a little bit with some cheaper alternatives. And uh, craft fur is a really, really good substitute. So it's a little bit more time consuming, but it looks just as good. It, it moves exactly like Pedigreesen with spay feathers in the water. So I just snipped out a bundle of craft fur here and I kind of want to pull out. You see this has some fake under fur in it and I kind of want to pull that out. So if you grab the long fibers and pull on the other end, you can kind of pull the short ones out and throw them away. You don't need those. This might even be a little bit too much. I think I'll just take half of that. Just want a little bit of... I'm holding it up like this, I'll make a false haggle, but you can see here how much it will cover up of the fly, along by having a small bundle like this. So, make a dubbing loop. Make sure it's secured down to the hook shank. My dubbing twister and insert that. And then put in the fibers to the loop. Split them out a little bit. You don't need to spread it out that much. It will just mean you have to turn a lot more times around the around the shank. So, spin that up, dubbing needle, get out some of those trapped hairs, give it a few more spins so it's nice and tight and embedded in that dubbing loop so they don't get pulled out. Then transfer that to your haggle pliers. Cut off the spinner and then just create what's called a false haggle. By stroking these fibers back and then just put in one turn in front of the other worry too much about a few getting caught. You can get those out quite easily. These hairs are also a little bit stronger than the spay feathers I think. So that's just a plus. Secure that dubbing loop. Cut off the remaining thread. 
and then just tie it directly on top of this. Now the original pattern has uh, some mallard in here, uh, but this being a white shrimp, I kind of want it to be as uh, translucent or transparent as possible. So that's why I left that out. Um, but on the original, you would have to tie in um, a little bundle of mallard for like, I guess they're supposed to mimic legs and mouth parts. Get some dubbing. In this case, some, uh, what's this called? Shrimp belly from Spawn Flyfish. It's a really nice dubbing. This is a really, really nice pale pink. Almost white, you can see. There's a little bit of pink mixed in it. Which I like. So, make a ball of dubbing here. Right up against that craft her tail. it out like this and tie directly on top of that almost all the way up I want to stop it just around the hook tip then get out some easy shrimp eyes in this size small on here and you can see why they call them easy shrimp bias because it's, it is really really easy to tie in shrimp bias with these not having to worry about uh, your shrimps losing one eye out on the water and all that and you can see it just looks so nice. Okay, so let's get a few strands of flash in there. For that, I will be using some of this good stuff here, which is the Pro Sport Fisher Angel Hair. It's very nice and soft. side and then flip these back over on themselves tie on top of that and then a little bit out on the other side make it look like a if you look at it from above it will look like a V then just trim those off in a few different lengths Should add a little bit of bling to the fly. Once again, make a dubbing loop just right up here where you tighten the eyes and the flash. Put in your twister. Get that out of the way a little bit so you can tie on. Then you need some sort of rip. I'll be using fluorocarbon for this. Uh, this is a point 26, which is perfect for this kind of kind of fly because it's fairly big. So. This will hold everything together very nicely. Tie that in on the bottom there. Just like 
like so. Get that out of the way. Then repeat your thread back to right around this point here. You want to leave like two millimeters um, back here uh, at the hook eye because this will be getting a uh, A shrimp back made out of some synthetic fibers. Then grab some more of of the dubbing. Quite a good amount here. And just create a dubbing noodle here on your thread. base layer all the way up to the eyes like so and if you can try to make uh, a taper of the body, meaning it will go from thin back here to thick up at the eyes. You don't have to, but it will like make the fly look better, and also the silhouette. So just take your time, put on some, some dubbing. You can always brush out if it's too much, it's worse the other way around. Just leave a little bit of room back there. Then grab some, some more craft fur. Remember to pull out short fibers that you don't need. Otherwise the fly will get way too bulky. Then find your dubbing loop and insert that bundle of craft fur. And this you want to distribute quite uh, quite a lot in the loop because you want enough to be able to wrap it through this body with open turns. So you will at a hook size like this, which is a four, you will need like ten centimeters of dubbing loop. So, and then trim the short hairs on this side to make it look even better. to your haggle pliers, snip off the spinner and then just moisten your fingers a little bit and then just stroke the hairs in this direction for every turn. Remember to make some open turns. Like 
like this. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, secure that loop back there. A few turns in front and a few turns behind it. And if you look at it like this, I mean, you could fish it just like this and it will be a perfect fishing fly. <clears throat> but I want to make this a little bit more perfect. So what you do is you take your dubbing brush, kind of divide the hairs out on both sides. So out. Giving it a small haircut like this. And then what you also can do is just brush it down a little bit. So you don't want any materials on top because we'll be putting in some of this here, which is sculpting flash fiber. It's really nice for cut backs so it looks kind of looks like this this is the color white has a few flesh strands in there just want to see how much you can tie in here something like this um, maybe even a little bit too much want to tie in something like the thickness of a pencil if you just hold it, it should be right around the thickness of a pencil so and I like to tie this in uh, backwards meaning <clears throat> Man, what's up with my voice? Um, tied in backwards like this. Right? And then you can pull this very carefully. So you will only have this little, little tie-in point here. This will make a really clean finish of the fly. I'll show you. When you flip this over on itself, it will make like the cleanest finish back here. So flip this over. Make one or two turns with your tying thread here just to keep it in place. And pull this down a little bit. And then work your rip up through that jungle of hair and dubbing here. And for the first turn, just pull a little bit on that flash fiber so it gets really nice and tight on top there. And then just work your way up open turns roughly around the same space between them Just get that last turn in here. <clears throat> Make sure you catch that rip 
because if you let go of that one now, it will just be a nightmare. So here we go. And I like to turn this around so I can see where it is. So then cut the tying thread, which will also be a fatal flaw at this point. The fly is almost done. make a whip finish right on top of that to make sure everything is nice and tight and then you can get one in kind of underneath it here like so that should hold trim off the tying thread just like that. And now, something I like to do is to take a few of these out, kind of hold it up like this, pluck out a few and leave them for antennas as well. And then this, you want to cut at an angle just over the eyes, like so. It got this nice little horn or thorn to it here. Turn the fly around, get your brush, and then just give that belly a nice brush through. You could even put in a little bit of varnish on the on the rib to make it a bit more durable. Like just some clear varnish here on the top. Which will make it even more durable. Just like that. Because teeth of the fish tend to destroy this back uh, like after four or five fish so this can make it a little bit more durable and that there is the finished fly thank you so much for watching thank you for buying my book and um, try this one out and I will see you in the next one bye